What's up, everybody? Tyler here with Tarver Academy. If you could, if you could hit that subscribe button, I would straight up appreciate it. Okay, so we're talking about Google Forms today, and I want to show you how to share your Google Form. Okay, that's pretty easy. So let's say I'm in here. I've created a copy. Oh, come on now. Let's uh, bring that up. There we go. So I've got my parent information form. I want to share this with students. So I'm in here and I'm done. I want to share this with them so that they can so that they can they can take it. So they can take this little questionnaire I have to get their parent information. I will go to the upper right hand corner where it says send. I'm going to click on that. From here, this is where I can send out my email. So I can choose who it's to. So I can send this out to my main email. I can change the subject of the email and then the message is going to uh, it's going to default to say I've invited you to fill out the form and this is going to have a link to the form. Now I can include the form in the email that way it's embedded in there so they can get it. I have noticed if you do it this way where it's just a link to it you get less people that fill it out than if you include it in the email. Now here's the negative. The negative to that is if you do this, it does a link. So if say like you send out the form and then you realize, oh, I misspelled a word or I left off a question, you can go back and change that. You still have time because they're clicking the link and going to the live form. If you include the form in the email, it's frozen as it is right now. So there you go. You can click send. Um, you can share it that way and I can add the emails, as many email addresses I want, a group, whatever. I can get the link here and just you know text the link to somebody. You can embed in, uh, into like a website or something uh, this form. But most people are just going to hit this and you're going to email it. So you hit send. Boom. You did it. Now, uh, as part of sharing, that's if you're sharing with people who are going to take it. It's going to look something like this. Oh, that's what it looks like. Great. I'm going to fill that out. Now, um, you also might want to know how to add collaborators. So if I click that send, I can go to add collaborators. This means they are essentially a teacher with me and they can edit and adjust the form. So I can choose who I want to add to it and then they'll get the same notification um, showing that they, um, it's going to show them how to get in there and, uh, and, and, and edit the form. And so it gives them access. So that's one way to do it. You can also add collaborators by clicking these three little dots and go to add collaborators. It takes you to the same page. So there's one thing about Google, they always like to try to think, oh, what's any way someone might assume this is how you get this done? And they make that the way. Hope this helped. Hope you have a great day. And as I always say, always be learning. See you guys. Hey, what's up? Thank you so much for watching my training video. If that helped at all, please subscribe to this channel. It's free, costs nothing. Just click the little red subscribe button unless they change the color. Hey, also, if you want me to come to your school and help train your teachers or your administrators or your students and help make your life easier with Google, just let me know. I've got links in the bio on how to get a hold of me. DM me at Tyler Tarver on Instagram or Twitter. You can go hit my email, tylertarver at gmail.com. Um, or you can just yell really loud. Maybe I'm close. Oh, I thought I heard somebody. You want me to come train us on Google? No? Okay. It'll be fun. We'll learn a lot. And I'll give you a bunch of resources. So, Thank you guys. Hey, did you subscribe? We talked about it earlier. No pressure. But if you want to, I'll be here. I'm just going to wait right here. Look at this lighting. Oh, wow.